And we will see you then, Paul. Thank you so much. We're here with the Pet Patrol this morning. Of course, Sandy Lampy is here from San Diego Home Garden Lifestyles Magazine. And Dr. Dr. Mona is here from Sharp Memorial. And I believe you've been voted best dermatologist? In the city. In the city. So and how about she that? Is. Absolutely. Congratulations. Thanks. My like mom said, voted for me. I know Thanks. your mom voted a lot, but All still, right. nonetheless. All good. So we, what are we talking about here? This did is you, interesting. Well, did, this is May is melanoma month. It is, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Humans, melanoma. Yeah. Did you know dogs can get melanoma? I did not. I just learned of this. Okay. Well, How about it's, that? it's important for dog owners to know this. Hmm. And Dr. Mona Mofit and I are going to be talking about that, but we I want to introduce our other guests. Of course we do. Okay. Yeah. Schmoozer, we all know, is wearing her SP50 rash guard outfit. This is Schmoozer right here. Right here. Okay. Schmoozer's licking me. Apparently Schmoozer likes me. That's nice. We have Maggie and Mona, Dr. Mona, tell yeah. us about this outfit. Yeah. yeah. So Maggie's got a UPF50. Um, rash guard on UPF is what we use instead of SPF for sun protection but it's got a nice little uh, meter here that tells you when you're in ultraviolet light so it'll turn oh my gosh. colors in ultraviolet light is just that like right? Sandy's bracelet Sandy's got these cool beads oh, that yeah. will turn oh. um, in ultraviolet light and we can actually even have clothing that will turn uh, lights in ultraviolet light to let you know that you're out there. And they actually have these at Costco now, so Is that very, very, right? very affordable for kids. So this will actually light so, up. Yeah, white inside, uh -huh. and then when you go outside, they turn into colors. So wow. it says magical, but they're very, very, very affordable over at Costco as well. And what's the deal with the helmet here? <laughs> <laughs> you like that? Just like, <laughs> well, I mean, yeah, what is that? <laughs> well, what is that? This is Molly, and oh, Molly just my. wanted to be cool because she knew the Rolling Stones were coming into town so she needed to be cool <laughs> but I'm amazed at how calm she is wearing all that she's though. very calm but the sunglasses <laughs> are essential aren't they well they are because we want the pet owners to know that dogs get melanoma but people get melanoma too so yeah. one person dies every hour in this country from melanoma crazy that's not good uh, not good at all mm -hmm. dogs that get melanoma tend to be the darker haired dogs and we usually think it's the white dogs we usually it think it's the white dogs the white dogs tend to get the squamous cell kind of skin cancer, but the darker dogs, interestingly, are the ones who get melanoma. And what's interesting about the darker colored dogs is when they get melanoma, it tends to be on the toe, oh. which is similar to humans because, do you know what Bob Marley died of? Skin cancer? Very good answer, since the segment's <laughs> on melanoma, outstanding. Um, Bob Marley died you of led, a, You right. led the witness right, on that I'm one. I'm good, I'm yeah, good, I'm good. Yeah, good. Uh, Bob Marley died of a melanoma on his toe. Um, a, lot of people, a lot of people don't know that. So uh, darker skinned individuals tend to get them on the toe. So if you have a spot on your pet or on yourself um, that is changing or unusual anywhere on the body, but on the toe, definitely getting that checked. What can you do about it? Well, you got to go see your doctor or your well, vet. What can you do? Your veterinarian. And we have some wonderful animal dermatologists in town, too, to go to that next step. But there was an interesting fact you told me about breast cancer survivors. Interesting. Breast cancer and melanoma can actually run along the same gene. Uh, and a lot of people don't know that. You mm. guys know Bill Griffith, obviously. Yeah. He had melanoma and breast cancer. Yeah. And God bless him. God bless him. And yeah. he's an awesome advocate for both. Um, and a great so, guy. And a great guy. So we appreciate all of the advocacy that he does. Yeah. But um, if you have had breast cancer, you're actually at a 20% increased risk for getting melanoma. So we just like to encourage people to get checked. Yeah. Um, if you get checked, there is absolutely no reason people should be dying from melanoma. Um, it should be totally preventable for the most part. And once you find it, you can get yeah. you can get it and cut it out or yeah, whatever. Exactly. Zap it with a laser. Exactly. What I tell, especially my men patients, give yeah. your body the same love you get your give your car. If you have a spot on your car, you will take <laughs> off work, get yourself to the body shop, ways all day to get it all buffed out. But if you have a spot on your body, you say, I just don't have time to get to the doctor. So we want to uh, treat funny, our bodies right? with the same respect it's we give funny, our I've car. Ha I've had that conversation I bet recently you have. with my wife and my brother. You have a good wife. Yes. Uh, yes. So here we have, this is from Dexter's Deli. Yeah. And this is called EpiPet. Yeah. And it is the only sunscreen that's FDA approved. For so, dogs. For, for dogs. dogs. Yeah, yeah. Not, not for us. And so where <laughs> no. do you put it? Do you just put it on the feet and the areas it, that are exposed? Spray the whole area. The whole area? The whole area. Yeah. Huh. It's great. And this is sunscreen for my kids, who are my pets. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Your little animals. Yes, my little animals. Um, and this you can get anywhere. But what's very important about SPF for humans is that humans need to recognize that SPF is based on using an ounce of product. 
and that's what we don't realize. It's a serving size. Oh. Um, and an ounce of product is a lot of stuff. We did this before. Yeah. Um, but an ounce of product means a full shot glass full. That is a lot. Actually, I have to open the bottle here. And I've here. never used but that much this here. This no, heck no. Heck no. How much you're supposed to use each time you wear your sunscreen. It doesn't taste very good. Oh. Um, <laughs> so you give me a shot. I was like, oh. So statistically, people only get about 20% of the SPF they think they're getting. So mm -hmm. when you read these articles that say you don't need more than an SPF of 15 or 30, it's you don't need to achieve more than a 15 or a 30. But you're not going to be getting that using that. Less, if you put that much that. toothpaste on your face, you'd probably get a good SPF, right? <laughs> uh, which is true, because you'd look like Casper. You'd look so like let's, ta let's talk yeah. for a minute about white dogs. Let's talk. Okay, because I well, know... Well, we don't have much time, so let's make it quick. Okay. Our little talk. Go ahead. <clears throat> and then you better get your skin checked. <laughs> yes, well, get your card All before right. you leave. Anyway. She's in Lahore. So the white dogs. Yes. Very nice. White dogs. Oh, why so don't white they, dogs, why white, don't they get the cancer? Well, white dogs tend to get squamous cell skin cancer. Okay. So squamous cell skin cancer comes from ultraviolet light because mm -hmm. they don't have as much protection. Yeah. 20% uh, of Americans will actually also get uh, basal cells or squamous cell protection. Uh, or basal cell or squamous cell skin cancer, I'm yeah. sorry. Yeah. Um, so that's 20% of Americans. That's one in every five Americans. We actually get more on the left side because that is our... Oh, you were doing so well. Our special our side. side. Our driving side. Oh, our driver's yeah, side. yeah. More skin yeah, cancer right. in America on the left, more in England on the right, uh -huh. um, particularly people that commute uh, and such. Point. But again, part of the part of the um, whole deal here is protecting our dogs, but also reminding our pet owners that they need to get protected as well. Well, we all learned something, I think. We learned a lot, we and did. I would just like to say this to all our pet owners at KUSI viewers to contact to make sure that you go to the veterinarian, get your dog checked once a year. All right, and mm -hmm. then as I said, we also have animal dermatologists because this is really important to know, especially this is San Diego. Everybody goes outside and everybody takes your, not everybody, but yeah. they like to take their doggies out. Gonna toast to uh, sun protection. And remember, cheers to covering yourself at the beach this weekend with a full ounce. That's right.